Huh? You just arrive in the city? Is it true what they say then? There are dragons about. Think I'll forge me a new sword, just in case things go awry here in solitude. I'm the blacksmith's apprentice, you see. <laughs> I like you. No man is a match for a dragon. Buying one of our blades wouldn't hurt your chances, though. Food, experience, and a roof over my head in the finest city in Skyrim. If money's all you hold dear, then you end up like Jari Ra, a plague on the city. Really? I knew he was mixed up in something dangerous, but I hadn't heard he was dead. May your sword feast on Stormcloak flesh. There's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Fletchings. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly... If you're looking for any archery or fletching supplies, you should see Fiata. I'm just the apprentice. Hello, and welcome, my friend. How may I help you on this fine day? Why, of course. And will you also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows? Or perhaps a quiver that dispenses beer? Look, if you want arrows, we have them. But don't insult my intelligence. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you.
spiced wine with the taste. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. We'll speak again later, if we must. The finest fish here. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. Hello, my child. R.K. watch over you. You mean Rogvir? Yes, I made an appeal to Captain Aldous. He allowed Rogvir to have a proper Nord burial, as is the custom in solitude. All my life, I practically grew up in the hall. My father and mother were the priest and priestess of R.K. before me, you see? I believe I was put here to protect this place from the darkness that pervades solitude. This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen, Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now public executions. My books tell the stories, have no doubt, as pretty as its streets are, as jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. 
May Arke bless you with a long life. Pardon me. Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. Huh? I'm not looking for conversation. I should make sure Sfari's okay. I trust you're not causing any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Huh? Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Well, when I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course. I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. What do you need, my friend? Now you can say you've met... This one's a...
can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Citizen. The Empress cousin Vittoria Vici is getting married soon. Reception will be public. Watch the skies, traveler. Everything's all right. Something? Generally posting information is need to know only. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White One Legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Need something? Winking Skeevers got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice. So, would you like a tune? Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. As I'm a high priest busy. of the Eight Divine, I've got all sorts of problems. Gotta keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Feel free to take a seat or pray at the shrines. We appreciate worship in all its forms. Hmm? Ah, oh, yes. 
That once held the shrine to Talos. But the worship of Talos was banned by the White Gold Concordat some time ago. It's the peace treaty that ended the war with the elves of the Almeri Dominion. The Dominion recognized the heresy of proclaiming Talos a god. Talos was a great man and a great emperor, but that does not make him a god. No matter how much the Stormcloaks may wish it were so. Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. The nature of the favors varies per deity. Please, feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. The strong and honorable always carry the blessing of the eight. Miss Blessing Certainly, Acolyte. What the are you? listening. I know you and Father Rorland have many duties to attend to in the temple, but sometimes I feel that there are more important matters to attend to. What could be more important than hearing the prayers of the faithful and answering the questions of the dedicated? Mistress, the people of solitary desert, the men who starve in the desert, they need to be more active to reach out to them. Huh? May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Let us walk in the blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? Have you come seeking guidance? walk in the steps of the divines. May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Blessings to you. The divines are listening. The divines. Oh. May the divines guide you.
Blessings of the eight divines of hmm? If you must venture southwest, stay clear of old Scott. It's a cursed place. Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damn shop people. Now, I want those arrows dead center. The lives of your fellow soldiers are counting. Hail, companion. Staying safe, I hope.
I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. Something to report? Need something? Sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. Keep your guard. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. You mean Ulfric's so-called Stormcloak Rebellion? The Nord Kings. Oh, excuse me. Jarls. They can't seem to control their own people. So the Legion has stepped in to keep order. Sadly, the Empire's stretched a little thin these days, and we've gotten very few reinforcements. So we've been forced to recruit locally. But rest assured, citizen, we'll put an end to this uprising, and things will get back to normal soon enough. 
Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, and protect the citizenry. <laughs> Skyrim's days are darkening, and the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. Think you've got the medal, huh? Honestly, the Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our hands full. A dead king, a rebellion, and now dragons? Skyrim's a mess. If you're serious, you're in the right place. Our headquarters is in Castle Dower. Here you'll find General Tullius, commanding our forces in Skyrim. But talk to Legate Rika. She handles the local recruiting. I'll take my leave then. I trust this is something important. Are you lost? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Right, Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hmm. Something to report? Mm, there's something I can do for you? Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison? Hmm. Hmm, there's something I can do for you? Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison? Are you lost? Are you lost? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Rika? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. The kind that evaluates your usefulness during... duress. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The Ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. I'll take my leave then.
What is it? Be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Honor to you, my fame. Fletching suits me. It's difficult True, and sometimes I'm tedious. The part of ah, where the dragon attacked? Uh, the art of the the art of right. 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 May the ground you walk you take as you pass. Gods gave you two hands, and you used them both for your weapon. I should respect them. Jarls come and Jarls go, but a good cook stays for a lifetime, and I'm a very, very good cook. Watch your feet. We just clean there. Got lots of things to take care of. What do you need? Everyone knows General Tullius wields the real power in solitude. Elisif? Yeah, she's a figurehead. A puppet. Folks at court won't admit it. 
But Sabil Stentor scares us all to death. Something just ain't right about that Sabil. You know, I've never seen her eat a thing. That can't be natural. Natural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Arnius. But rest easy. You're dismissed.
I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. My duty is to keep the Jarl safe, not play nursemaid to you sycophants. Keep your weapon out of your hands, and we'll get along just fine. Thane Bryling, at your service. I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. Many condemn the Stormcloaks, but I refuse. There is honor in fighting for what you believe. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. <clears throat> I'm a Thane. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of looking like an idiot and all that. Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, uh, let me put it this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. This godforsaken war is dividing our people and destroying our land. Do you have business with the court? I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. All oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now, but everyone's always...